China's supremacy in elite badminton is hardly the world's best secret. The nation's shuttlers continue to feature heavily in the world rankings across all formats. Women's doubles pair Luo Ying and Luo Yu are fine examples of their country's dominance. Compatriots Cao Yunlei and Tianqing may be the reigning world champions, but the Luo Twins' recent performances have seen them storm past some of their more established teammates to perch themselves on top of the world rankings pile. I think the winning formula is commitment, and that's necessary for every day's training. Our daily practice is usually very rigorous. It's like what she has mentioned. It's about training and taking the coach's advice seriously. We try to follow their instructions because it will improve our gameplay. The sisters spared some time recently to share with us their journey to becoming the world's number one women's tandem. Luo Ying is the older half of the identical twins, and despite our difficulty in identifying them, they say they're completely different. We're not the same. If you look closely, our face shape isn't similar. My elder sister's face is slightly smaller and pointed. If you look at mine, it's actually bigger and rounder. I think my elder sister is very different when she's playing on court and when she doesn't. Off the court, she can be very quiet and she wouldn't talk much. She's not known to be the active sort. I think my younger sister's temperament on and off the court is rather consistent. She's not the person who gets anxious easily. However, she tends to be a little childish when she's not playing or training. Their individuality was already evident from an early age. Although both picked up badminton at the same time, it took some convincing for the studious Law Ing to join forces with her enthusiastic younger sibling. At around primary two, I realized that I wasn't very interested in studying. My results were not as good as my elder sister's. Instead, I was very attracted to playing badminton because it was very fun for me. I loved playing the sport. I was reluctant to play full-time as I preferred going to school, but my younger sister was enthusiastic and wanted to take it up seriously. In the end, it was the coach who felt that it would be more effective for twins to partner each other in doubles. Since that day, we gave our full focus to badminton and stayed as partners since primary two. Once they were back on the same wavelength, the natural chemistry between them worked wonders for their on-court success. Since their inclusion into the national team in 2009, they've made giant strides in their development, clinching their first title at the Indonesia Grand Prix Gold a year later. 2014 proved to be a defining year for the Laws. Despite only a China Masters title to show during that time, it was their amazing consistency on the circuit that stood out. The twins made it to the last four at eight tournaments and in the process shot up from 55th in the world rankings to third by the end of the year. Their instinctive understanding of each other during matches has given them that extra edge. If I'm not in a good form on a certain day, my younger sister will scold me. She'll keep nagging until I regain my rhythm. I think that's a special connection between twins which other pairs do not get to experience. We have been paired with each other since young, so we are very familiar with each other's emotions, actions and reactions. When we are playing well, we know how to complement each other with a look or small signals. The Chinese duo carried their form into the 2015 season, winning their maiden Super Series Premier title at the Maybank Malaysia Open and rounding off the year with the Dubai World Super Series Finals crown. Now, they sit pretty, leading the world rankings, but the twins aren't taking all the credit for their success. 
Firstly, we have a very big pool of good players and coaches. Players like Tianxing, Zhao Yunlei, Yu Yang and Wang Xiaoli are all very good examples for us to follow. We are considered the younger players for this level, so we have a lot to learn from these players. The success can also be attributed to the management of our training sessions, which includes our rest time. We take our training very seriously because of the careful planning by the management. I think the management played an important role in our group results. 2016 promises to be badminton's biggest year, and for the world number one women's duo, they're in sync and ready to go. There are two major games in 2016. One will be the Thomas and Uber Cup, and the other will be the Olympics. Right now, our aim is just to focus on playing well at this year's Uber Cup. As for the preparations, I think it is important to treat every training session seriously. With still much to achieve, badminton fans can be sure Luo Ying and Luo Yu will continue to dazzle for years to come.